1 Samuel chapter 14, we're kind of getting some insight into what I would call the beginning of the fall of King Saul. There's a couple things happening in this chapter. Jonathan, King Saul's son, evidences tremendous faith in God. He, he's with his armor bearer and he says, hey, there's the Philistine camp over there. Let's see if God is with us. Let's go and let's take the fight to them. And we'll tell them, hey, we're here representing the Lord. And we'll see if God is with us in our victory. And as you read the chapter today, you'll see that God confuses the ranks of the Philistine and uses Jonathan for a victory. But also you'll read about King Saul. Saul sees this thing that's going on with his son Jonathan and takes it as an opportunity to continue the attack on the Philistines. The chapter ends with many of the military successes of King Saul. This chapter is over 50 verses, and it's all about the warfare and the victories that are happening for the people of Israel. But tucked in this chapter is an interesting excerpt into Saul's life. He makes this foolish oath to God, really about his men, that no one should eat while they're in battle. And Jonathan, not knowing this, not knowing that his father had made this oath before the Lord, takes something to eat as he's weary from battle. And in Saul's madness, out of anger, he even begins to pursue his son, trying to take his life because Jonathan broke this oath that Saul made rashly. You know, it reminds me something that the brother of Jesus once said in James chapter one, verse 19. He, he says this, understand this, my dear brothers and sisters, you must be quick to listen and slow to speak. King Saul was not given a command or a direction from God to make this oath. We just kind of read and infer that he made it kind of rashly. And doing so, knowing that he made a mistake, it's almost like he has to fix his mistake by going after the life of his own son. It's interesting. In this chapter, in this time in the book of 1 Samuel, we're beginning to see Saul begin to unravel. And I think one of the lessons we can take away from this chapter today, it's admirable the faith that Jonathan has, but it's also concerning and disappointing to see the, the faulty faith, you could say, that King Saul has. He's one who's quick to speak, not necessarily quick to listen to what God would have to say. So in today's chapter, may we be more like Jonathan, willing to step, take steps of faith for the Lord, and less like Saul, being quick to speak and not quick to listen. Today, open up your heart to the Lord and listen to what He would have to say to you.